Right Action Right action is the fourth of the eight path factors in the Noble Eightfold Path and belongs to the virtue division of the path. The Definition And what is right action? Abstaining from taking life, abstaining from stealing, abstaining from unchastity. This is called right action. SN 45.8 Its relation to the other factors of the path. And how is right view the forerunner? One discerns wrong action as wrong action and right action as right action. This is one's right view. And what is wrong action? Killing, taking what is not given, illicit sex. This is wrong action. One tries to abandon wrong action and to enter into right action, this is one's right effort. One is mindful to abandon wrong action and to enter and remain in right action, this is one's right mindfulness. Thus these three qualities, right view, right effort, and right mindfulness, run and circle around right action. MN 117 A life lived skillfully. Having thus gone forth, following the training and way of life of the monks, abandoning the taking of life, he abstains from the taking of life. He dwells with his rod laid down, his knife laid down, scrupulous, kind, compassionate for the welfare of all living beings. Abandoning the taking of what is not given, he abstains from taking what is not given. He takes only what is given, accepts only what is given, lives not by stealth but by means of a self that has become pure. Abandoning uncelibacy, he lives a celibate life, aloof, refraining from the sexual act that is the villager's way. ANX 99 A layperson's skillfulness And how is one made pure in three ways by bodily action? There is the case where a certain person, abandoning the taking of life, abstains from the taking of life. He dwells with his rod laid down, his knife laid down, scrupulous, merciful, compassionate for the welfare of all living beings. Abandoning the taking of what is not given, he abstains from taking what is not given. He does not take, in the manner of a thief, things in a village or a wilderness that belong to others and have not been given by them. Abandoning sensual misconduct, he abstains from sensual misconduct. He does not get sexually involved with those who are protected by their mothers, their fathers, their brothers, their sisters, their relatives, or their dhamma, those with husbands, those who entail punishments, or even those crowned with flowers by another man. This is how one is made pure in three ways by bodily action. ANX 176 Dot.